Latest update on Cyclone Baguito, which this morning has winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 948 millibars as of 6 a.m. local time in Mauritius on January the 16th. It's at 18.2 south, 61.9 degrees east, and that's a class two warning, which is currently now in effect for Mauritius, which may well be upgraded at some point later today or this evening as a class three warning, which I would certainly expect. Uh, this is why the storms are expected to impact the islands, starting with Mauritius on Wednesday evening, by which point the storm will have at least category one force winds, possibly higher, maybe winds approaching 100 miles per hour or more, 160 kilometers per hour. It will then move into Réunion shortly afterwards and then off towards the southwest. This is a dangerous situation. At present, this storm is still a category three with winds of 115 miles per hour, which is approximately 180 190 kilometers per hour category 3 intense tropical cyclone according to Meteo France and it's a stage 6 on the CDPS scale right now there is the storm's location still hasn't moved particularly much but is slowly uh, bringing down the miles between itself and the capital Port Louis and the main island of Mauritius this is what's expected to happen over the next few days. High chances now of tropical storm conditions occurring on Mauritius Tuesday night and Wednesday and into Wednesday night into Thursday as well. The timing is still somewhat unclear. The storm could strike as soon as Tuesday evening, could be as late as Wednesday evening, uh, but tropical storm conditions will probably begin to occur on Tuesday uh, during the day as we approach the end of the day, I suppose into Wednesday and tropical storm conditions will persist of course and stronger. Uh, rainfall will probably begin not too long from now as well. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm, 27 or 28 degrees Celsius, which is more than enough to sustain a significant tropical cyclone. Wind shear graphics are a little bit old now because there haven't been any new updates, but it was taking advantage of low amounts of wind shear as you could see here from probably two days ago now. Uh, I assume that those amounts are still fairly low, but it's probably going to be on the increase fairly soon. Uh, this would be the visible imagery, but there isn't any at this moment in time. The visible imagery will be arriving sooner or later today. Obviously, first light is beginning to approach and is approaching now. Here's the infrared views though, you can see how the storm's been doing, it looks fantastic overnight, uh, but what has happened in the last hour or two is some sort of disintegration, perhaps a collapse in the eye wall and maybe an eye wall replacement cycle is occurring. What you can see on this imagery is that the storm has been moving due west, which is not good news because this means that the storm could impact the northern parts of the islands and because of its southern wind field being larger than the north, this will cause more significant effects. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which is still in the reconstruction at this time, not aided by this storm, I have to say. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 all in text. If you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't. We're also on Facebook, add a like to Force 13, and we're on at Force 13, our Twitter handle, if you want to follow us or send us a message there. You can also add our Skype account, Force 13, or add my personal account on Discord, Fool13, hashtag 9094. You can also follow Matteo A. Cyclone Maurice, our partners, on Facebook. Links in the description. That's all for now.